this is a very quick little tutorial um, just to show you um, how to log into WGSN without using the library portal. This video is specifically for my students from the University of Manchester. Uh, right, I've got WGSN um, website open and I need to go to log in. Do not try and access WGSN via the library portal. It won't give you the full functionality that you need to be able to complete your work. So you need to go to log in. Hopefully, if you've been to my um, uh, workshops, um, you will already have your own uh, login. If not, then you get it set up. Um, you must use your at manchester.ac.uk email address because that's the one that's registered with WGSN to enable you to be able to use all the assets available. So here we go. This is mine, helen.han at manchester.ac.uk. Um, my password um, is on my keychain because I'm a Mac user, but please don't forget your password. I can't help you if you have forgotten your password. Uh, you will have to go through the whole process of getting it changed. So go to login. Um, then when you land on this page, you should see um, your name up here. Mine says, hi, Helen, because that's obviously me. Um, and it will allow you to access all the design resources. So here we are, here's my design resources. And we've got all the um, CADs and flats and things, the brushes, fills, embellishments and trims, all that kind of stuff. Your prints, your graphics, clip art, all your color details. And if I go to CADs and flats, um, now I've had, um, a question about colouring lace so I'm going to look for something specifically with lace on so I'm just going to do a search to find um, garments with lace on it's mostly underwear as you'd expect um, so you can see there's um, a fair few things here with um, with lace um, I'm just going to go for this one here because it's the, the first one and I'm just going to download um, this little flat onto my computer so once it's done that I can close this down um, and just exit full screen and if I go to my um, downloads I can't remember where, where they are there we are um, So there it is. So I'm going to open this up. Now this should open directly into Illustrator and it does. Now um, this is um, a little fill here. Now sometimes um, when you click on these, because you haven't drawn them yourself, they might be grouped. So um, if you just go to the direct selection tool and click on um, where the lace pattern is, okay, um, if I have a look at my swatches here, it, it's not showing as a swatch, but I can see that it is set up as a fill. So I'm just going to drag this down into my swatches and you can see it's there. So I can, uh, oops, um, just do that again. There we go. Um, so if I create um, a rectangle like so, um, you can see I just need to create an artboard behind it. There we are. So you can see that's what that fill looks like. Um, so I can control how the fill looks. I can control its scaling by going to object and transform and scale. Um, and I can choose to just scale the pattern. So I can make the pattern bigger or smaller. Like so. So if I preview that, you can see I've made it a little bit bigger. So I can um, change how it looks. Um, like that. I can also change the colour. So at the moment it's just showing in these um, shades of grey. So if I wanted to change the colourway, um, I can just click on this shape that's holding. If you have a look here, you can see it's holding this pattern fill. And then on my status bar up here, in the middle, we can see this little colour wheel. It's in um, black and white. And if I hover over it, it says recolor artwork. I'm going to just double click on here and you can see these are the colors that are being used and they're all shades of gray. So if I wanted this to be pink lace, I could just 
um, choose the colour that I wanted. I might want um, something a bit more, more blush pink. There we go. Um, so something a bit more like that. And you can see it's changed here. And again, I can find the pink that I want. Go for a, a more rose pink, perhaps. There we are. And then this last one. like that. So you can see I've now got um, my artwork has been recolored. So I click OK and I've now got another um, pattern swatch. So I could now click on here and replace with my new colorway. Now it doesn't get rid of the original, it just gives you a brand new one. So you've always got the option of being able to go back to the original colorway whenever you want. And that's it. That's really all there is to it. So that's how we can download um, a flat from WGSN. Um, it's absolutely vital that you log in um, in order to be able to get that vector information. And then once you've got that vector information, it's really easy to be able to access the, the, the fills and be able to um, change the colour of the imported artwork.